Since the arrest of special education teacher Primo Howie Lee Young for sexual assault charges against a former student, a number of Concord School District policies have been changed when it comes to reporting suspected assault or abuse. Lee Young has pleaded not guilty to the charges. From what I understand, there is a commitment on the part of the board and this coalition to continue the process of reviewing the policies. I don't think we got it 100 percent right. The district also launched an investigation months ago into how school leaders handled the Lee Young case, which remains ongoing. It is our hope, this coalition's hope, that the school board will see the report in its entirety, make available to the public what it can, take action where necessary, and really work to revise the culture of this district. But now more than 2,000 people have signed a petition asking Superintendent Terry Forston to step down. Our attempts to speak with her several times over the past couple of weeks were unsuccessful. We feel like the only way forward is by having new leadership. Darlene Gildersleeve is part of a group called Advocates for Change. She says the petition will be given to the school board today before the board meets for an emergency meeting with legal counsel. The culture that we really want to see promoted is a positive school culture where students, families and teachers feel supported, but they also feel like they can provide constructive feedback. Many people who sign that petition tell us they'll be at the next public school board meeting in September to make that message known. Reporting in Concord, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.